What the heck is going on guys? It is your boy Henry Rex back again for another G Fuel review. Thank you guys for following the channel, subscribing. We post new videos every Monday and Friday. We do a bunch of gaming videos, G Fuel videos, unboxing videos, whatever the heck we do, we do a lot of it. Um, also, thank you guys for leaving comments. I respond to every single comment. Anyway, with enough uh, dawdling, let's get right into the video. Today we are reviewing a very controversial flavor. And it's not controversial because of the flavor itself, it's controversial because the finger, the figure behind it. That's right. And I'm talking about Dr. Disrespect's Black on Blackberry. Now, where to start with this flavor? Okay, well, it was released September 21st, 2018. According to uh, G Fuel's advertisement on YouTube, which is usually pretty close to when they actually release the flavor itself. As you guys can tell, it is a blackberry flavor sponsored by the man himself, or formerly sponsored by the man himself, Dr. Disrespect. Now, in terms of caffeine content, this is a 150 milligram of caffeine per serving flavor. So yeah, um, we've got a lot of history to go into with this flavor actually before I do a whole lot more. As you guys probably know, um, Dr. Disrespect is no longer sponsored by G Fuel, and that's not because of because of anything he did or anyone he was arguing with, like Keemstar. We went into that whole uh, situation on our Cotton Candy G Fuel review. Go check that out after this video. But it's because his contract ran uh, expired, and then he actually decided to sign with Mountain Dew Game Fuel. Mountain Dew Game Fuel is the people or are the people who um, support the Call of Duty League among. A lot of other YouTube streamers, like they support um, Courage JD. A lot of big streamers are sponsored by either Game Fuel or G Fuel. I personally like G Fuel more, but I respect the doc. G Fuel or Game Fuel was probably offering him a lot of money. So anyway, Black on Blackberry has been out of stock for a long time on the G Fuel website, and that's because they have to redo the freaking packaging because he's not really sponsored by G Fuel anymore, so they kind of have to take him off. So, I did find this picture of what the new tub will look like when it comes back in the stock. That is the picture. Hopefully you guys can see that. It's available, in case you can't see it, the picture is on gfuel.com. Just go to the search bar and search Blackberry, and that's what it pops up. I personally like their new uh, design. I think it looks pretty dang snazzy. Now, I'm glad I have the one with Dr. Disrespect on it, but this looks snazzy as well. And let me flip tabs here. Yeah, uh, and you can see right there, it says he partners with Mountain Dew Game Fuel and you can pause it if you want to, but it basically says he was partnered with G Fuel for a long time, but now he's with Game Fuel. And the last thing I wanted to show you is there were a bunch of different Dr. Disrespect, uh, even shaker cups. So I don't have any of his shaker cups, but that is, Pretty much what it looked like, yeah. That bottom row there. He had his own shaker cups. Um, let me click on that real quick. That's a cool one. Um, anyway, you used to be able to buy them. I think they came in his collector's box, and I think um, as part of the G Fuel Rewards program, you could use your points toward them. I don't think you can anymore because he's not partnered with them, like I said. Uh, but yeah. Um, so I think they're pretty much unobtainable now, except if you wanted to get them, you'd probably have to buy them third party and they'd probably already be used and probably more expensive because it's rare. I, I really don't have any need for that. I already have a bunch of shaker cups. Plus I like Doc, but he's not my f uh, absolute favorite. Um, but he's still pretty cool. Um, anyway, his other controversy he was involved with, as I'm making the G Fuel here, is a couple weeks ago, he got banned off of Twitch. Just permabanned. And we have no idea why he was banned. And he's not saying why he's banned. Um, it's pretty eerie. Literally none of the insider sources, oh, that's a little too much, have any info. No one knows why he's been permanently banned off the platform. People are speculating like crazy. You can go check it out on YouTube, just type in Dr. Disrespect ban, and there's a whole bunch of videos on that. 
And it's been weeks, and we still don't know why he's been banned. But, um, so yeah, a lot of, a lot of controversy around the Dr. Disrespect, him changing up with the game fuel, him being banned, a lot of stuff happening with him. But anyway, let's crack into this tub of G Fuel. As you can see there, it's white powder. What I'm smelling automatically is, I don't know if you guys have had it before, but it's like a blueberry donut. That's what I'm getting, like immediately. And I freaking love blueberry donuts. Yeah, very sweet flavor. Now it's blue. As soon as you dump it in, you can see it's kind of more blue. But yet yeah, there are the reds starting to mix in there to get the dark, the black color. So anyway, let's mix it up and grab a taste of it. Now I will tell you one thing about this flavor. Um, obviously G Fuel is not harmful for you if used in moderation, but there is a slight thing with this particular flavor, as you guys can see it's pretty black. The dye itself is not harmful for you in this flavor, but if you drink too much of it, like back to back in a row, like I'm talking about if you drink this maybe let's say once or twice a day every day for like five days, you're uh, poop, I guess, is the nicest way of saying it, will be green. And I saw a lot of people talking about that, and I'm like, that's obviously a troll. So when I went ahead and tried it. It's not a troll. Uh, that actually happens, and it's because of the dye. Um, basically, if you like this flavor, that's fine. Just switch up, you know, like drink some other flavors, then drink this, and then drink some other flavors. Don't just, like, solo drink this flavor. Anyway, enough of me blabbing about controversy and health facts. Yeah, that smells like blackberry. We've got blackberry, we've got blackberry bushes in our yard and the harvest just ended, like we got a ton of them. This smells pretty dang similar to those actual blackberries. It's pretty strong flavor, pretty strong smell at least. Let's get into the taste. Yep, yep, blackberry. It's pretty simple. This is 100% blackberry taste. If you like blackberry, you're gonna like it. It's definitely a stronger flavor. I'm not getting any, it's, it's got a little bit of tartness, a tiny bit of tartness, but then again, regular blackberries do have that little bit of tartness. It's definitely a more natural flavor. It's not like an artificial blackberry. It's like if you went and picked some blackberries from an orchard, I don't know if you guys have ever done that, like got the bushel and picked them and then paid for them and buy it. Is there pretty much like that black, like, like that blackberry, sorry. It's a pretty smooth flavor, pretty refreshing, refreshing flavor. Not, not a super powdery flavor. I know that's a lot of people are talking about, you know, this, this, uh, this flavor is super powdery. Well, if it's powdery, add more water. But even with just 12 ounces of water, which is what I like to do because I like stronger, more robust flavors, it's not even that powdery. Yeah. I definitely like this flavor. And I'm glad they're keeping the flavor, even though Dr. Disrespect, like I said, did leave. I'm glad they're rebranding it. Hopefully they bring it back so when I finish this tub at some point, I can get another tub and we can I can have the other version of the tub, but I'm glad they're not getting rid of the flavor. Mm. I think you can still get this tub on Amazon and potentially walmart.com. I know Amazon sells tubs for $30 a tub instead of 25 at the G Fuel, instead of 35 at G Fuel's website. And you've got that free, free shipping on Amazon, but um, I would say if you're going to get G Fuel, wait until I buy one, get one uh, sale at G Fuel's website, because then it's an even better price than Amazon. And use a code. Use a code of a creator you support. Uh, code SHOCK is a good code. Electric Shock is great G Fuel YouTuber. After you're done with this video, go check him out. He does insane G Fuel uh, unboxings, flavors, taste testings, mixes, 
anything Gfuel Fuel, he does it. Use code FaZe, use code, you know, whatever, whatever your favorite creator's code is. Just use someone's code. But yeah, this is definitely in my top uh, three, maybe ten, maybe top five flavors for sure. I like the naturalness of it. I like how it tastes like a blackberry because I really like blackberries. And I like the slight tang. Like, they kept the tang in it. They didn't go for an artificial flavor. They went for a natural flavor. So in terms of a rating, I know that's what you guys have been waiting for. Gotta rate the flavor. I can't just drink all of it and then not rank it, unfortunately. I'm gonna rank it... I'm gonna rank the flavor a 9 out of 10. Now, the one thing that's keeping it from being a 10 is, of course, the food dye itself. Now, I think what they're gonna need to do in the next batch of this, like, I know, like I said, they're redesigning the label, but I think before they should start shipping it out again, what they need to do is find a different um, food dye to use for this, because it's just, it's not a health problem and it's not a health risk, it's just kinda weird, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like there's plenty of other food dyes that would not have that side effect. Um, but it, even if they don't, it's still fine. But I'd really like them to figure that one out. And yeah, that's the reason I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. Um, I think the flavor itself is perfect. It's just that little issue there. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, I think that's just about wraps everything up. If you did enjoy, please sub to the channel. We post every Monday and Friday. We're in the midst of some amazing the uh, game Let's Plays. We're almost done with our Minecraft Dungeons. We just started our Walking Dead Season 1 from Telltale Games. That game's crazy. Make sure you check out the video. And I just filmed a whole bunch of Overwatch videos today, so expect those at some point. Oh, and we even started a Goose Game uh, Let's Play as well. Very funny game, very interesting. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you, Hopefully you guys have a great day. Henry Rex out.